Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. Kathy Azar from Catherine Azar Photography, and today we have with us Eddie Murphy. Yes, Eddie Murphy from Epson. He is in product management for Epson, and he's going to fill us in on all sorts of great new stuff. We have the new Epson Surecolor P600 printer that we're going to be demoing and talking about today. So, um, Eddie, number one, give us a, like a quick like 30-second overview of who this printer is perfect for. This printer is really perfect for the advanced amateur or semi-professional photographer. So that's either the um, photographer that goes out on um, uh, photo safaris, the doctor, the lawyer, the dentist, the architect, you know, architect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That, that is constantly doing these really cool photo safaris or they have all the stuff that the pros want or the pros have and they're using really high-end equipment. Or it's a part-time professional or a semi-professional. This is like the weekend photographer. The person that really wants to be permanent full-time photographer but they just don't have the client base or the number of people that they need in order to do that. So they're the, um, they're the weekend wedding photographer, the weekend portrait photographer, the car show photographer. Okay. So it's really, it's really designed for them because it's got great output, it's got great uh, color, uh, best blacks in the industry, and um, it's portable small size, so their spouse will actually let them have it in the house. Two questions you had uh, yeah. that, I, that came out from that. Number one, you said size. What media that it takes, and uh, what's the size of the biggest print? Uh, the biggest print is 13 by 129 inches long using roll paper. Um, so we have roll paper on canvas, luster, glossy, and then there's three types of the canvas, matte, semi, uh, matte, satin, and gloss. Okay. Um, and then we also can print up to 13 by 19 borderless on a uh, cut sheet, all the way down to three and a half by five. Okay. So most commonly it's four by six, five by seven, eight by 10, letter, 11 by 14, 13 by 19, those are the borderless sizes that it easily prints. Yep. And you said and something about blacks. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, this is a brand new ink set. It's got our Ultra Chrome HD ink set. It's an all new ink formulation from Epson. Every single color co uh, colorant is different than the previous generation products, even though it has the same colors. Um, we've completely reformulated the ink in so far as it is got better black density. What that means is you've got better shape to your images, you have better contrast and the images appear sharper as well. Okay. Um, you met, we talked about media briefly, uh, and you said roll paper. What else besides roll paper can you print on? Roll paper, fine art papers. Um, so we have a bunch of textured watercolor papers. We have flat fine art papers, smooth fine art papers. Um, so we actually have probably about 10 or 12 different uh, fine art papers that come in cut sheet that feed through a separate path for this printer. It's the front end, front out fine art feed path. Mm -hmm. And it's so you don't have to move the printer to the around, you don't have to go and deal with the back. You just open the front tray, slide in the paper, hit the button, close the front tray, and you can print. Yeah. And how do you get the images to the printer to print? What are the different ways you can do it? Uh, you can either use USB, wired Ethernet, wireless N, wireless N only because it's the only one fast enough, um, or AirPrint or uh, Wi Fi Direct or Google Cloud Print. And you also have an Epson print app also, right? We do have the iPrint app. We don't need it anymore because now we have built-in uh, Wi-Fi Direct and AirPrint support. Mm -hmm. But if you'd like the Air, uh, the uh, use the Epson iPrint app, you can do that as well. Okay. Um, it will have a little bit more functionality because obviously it's designed by Epson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so is this a replacement for something? I mean, it's a brand new machine, but is it replacing another printer out there? This will replace the R3000. We haven't started shipping this printer yet. Okay. So we've been, we're announcing it today at Photo Plus Expo. We will start shipping it in late January, early February of 2015. Okay. Um, but right now, this is the this is kind of a sneak preview of what's to come next year. So okay. this is the this is the uh, 13 inch printer, and like I said, it's really designed for that independent. Uh, advanced amateur photographer or the independent uh, semi-pro pro professional photographer that just wants the best print possible. So if somebody has um, a 7890 like you do mm -hmm. or 9890 which is the large format printer which shares the Ultra Chrome K3 Viz Magenta ink set and they wanted a small proofing machine, this would not be the machine for them. They would buy the current R3000 product because those printers share at a 13 inch, 24 inch and 44 inch level the same ink set. So you can use the small R3000 to proof for the large 9890. Yep. This one is for the person that wants the best output photography, the best uh, blacks, the best color possible, and the new ink, uh, the new um, connectivity options. How about price okay. point? Price point is 
Okay. And do you, can you buy directly from Epson or do you have to buy from third party? You can buy from whatever dealer you're currently buying through or you can buy from Epson.com as well. Okay. Uh, you mentioned some papers earlier. Mm -hmm. um, does it print on all the different Epson papers from... It prints on Epson papers, um, and it also prints on third-party papers as well. So we're happy to uh, work with Canson, Hanamule, uh, Moab. It will work with all those papers. We expect that those companies will build ICC profiles for these products as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we also have I custom ICC profiles for our own papers as well. Include, that includes our entire signature-worthy line of papers and our consumer papers as well. Very good. What's your favorite thing to see come out of this printer? Uh, as far as print sample, what kind of, what kind of images? oh, I love canvas panoramas. I am a big canvas guy. Um, you'll probably look at them later, but we have a whole set of panoramas. The P600 actually now prints up to 129 inches long on both the Mac and the PC. Previously genera previous generation products only printed up to 44 inches long on the Mac side. Um, I fought really hard with my engineers on that one. And we finally were able to get 129 inches long on both. That's over 10 feet long. That's crazy. It if is. you're doing that, if you're doing roll, is there a gizmo in the back that hooks it all up and you can? There's a roll paper there? attachment which you can actually just leave on the back of the printer. And um, yep, there they are, the roll paper holders, oh, and they that. work. They work just like corn holders. Uh huh. You just plug them on the side, <laughs> and then you. you Interesting know. way to describe them. Yeah. Well, Excellent. It's easy and relatable. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And is it cheaper to print using roll paper if you're even if you're doing the smaller stuff? It is not cheaper. So that is a good question because most people think, oh well, it prints. Roll Roll paper, that's got to be cheaper. No, roll paper is just a feature of how the printer works, not a okay. function of how the printer works. So just like a on a large format printer, sheet is more expensive than roll because sheet is a feature, not a function. So that's my that's my little that's my little. Like, You're in product marketing too, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, one feature I noticed that we we had uh, talked about before is the auto switching inks. Mm -hmm. Um, explain again why you have a separate matte and a separate photo black in a single printer. No problem. Um, photo black is designed for um, glossier media, so like our, um, our luster. So it has a resin coated pigment particle and it bonds to the top of the surface. The matte black is a different type of ink formulation and it's a self dispersing ink. So can't print matte black on photo papers because it actually it's designed to absorb into a matte style surface and if you print it on it on the glossy surface it would actually just smear right off and the new photo black for this printer is completely reformulated and it has a brand new resin and a brand new um black ink colorant and it also has more of it so the black density is much much better okay yep uh, and when you're switching, you, it says in the specs only one to three ounces, right? Uh, is all you're using? One millimeter, or sorry, one milliliter for milliliter, sorry. photo to black, photo to matte, and then three milliliters from matte to photo. Okay. However, we have a new save ink mode on this printer, which is not by default. I wanted to be default, but I didn't win that battle. Um, <laughs> it is you go into the administrative settings and you choose the save ink mode, and instead of using three milliliters from photo uh, from matte to photo. It uses only one milliliter from that to photo. Okay. Yep. Okay. I love your enthusiasm. Yes. What's it like to work for Epson? Um, it's great. Actually, I, I've been with Epson for 15 years. I started in Q, uh, QA and I uh, moved up into product management and I've been there ever since. I love it. Um, it's, it's a fun group of people to work with, especially in professional imaging. And um, we have probably some of the coolest products in the industry, so that's really great too. I think you do. And do you have a company mascot or a office mascot? We of any actually kind? do. We have <laughs> yes. Julio, the owl. <laughs> and Julio is a direct off, uh, off uh, shoot of the fact that we had a barn owl, a family of barn owls that nested in a palm tree near our office. And uh, it was the owl. And so Larry Coffin, one, uh, my boss, uh, one of our product managers, he actually took a bunch of pictures of the owl, the barn owl, and then we actually have we actually have a mascot costume, Julio the Owl. I will send you guys is a picture. That's awesome. No, Julio oh. is not here. But I will send you. I will try and get a That's Julio awesome. uh, little stuffed uh, doll, which we have, and an awesome. actual Julio uh, picture of Julio m with myself. So it's W H O, like who, Leo. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. So we actually do have a mascot. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Yes. Favorite yeah. ice cream? Butter pecan. That's an interesting answer. Yeah, Butter pecan is so <laughs> good because you've got a contrast of salty, sweet, Crunch. crunchy, and smooth, and then you've got warm from your mouth and then cold from the ice cream. It's studying contrasts. 
Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Coming from the, the, the product management uh, <laughs> yeah. that Features. loves contrast. And exactly. Yeah, exactly. Love exactly. Contrast. Name of your first childhood pet? Uh, Molly. Molly. And my Maggie, Molly and Maggie. Nice, nice. If you were a crayon, what color? Green. 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 Interesting. Is, put, is Bigfoot real or fake? Fake. Very good. All right. Any other good one? Yeah, give him that one. <laughs> oh, Which Lord, one? Is Name something that's always in your fridge. fridge. Oh, um, always in my fridge. Butter. Nice. Good I answer. Bake. I bake. Nice. What's your favorite thing to bake? Uh, cookies. Oh, yeah. Check out my blog. My actual Snickerdoodle recipe is on my blog. Snickerdoodles are my favorite. <laughs> so, or chocolate chip cookie recipe, and you put coffee in it. You should see. Uh, I will bake chocolate chip cookies for you sometime, and I will, yeah, I will fat accept them. Back at you. Can't wait. Brilliant. Can't wait. Yes. All right. Love very it. good. Well, thank you very much. Learn more about the P600 than we thought we would. Uh, they'll be coming up. Uh, you said January. You can order them, and about 7.99. So correct. Look correct. for them to be out on Epson.com and all the regular retailers. Epson.com forward slash P600. Very good. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See you.